Sometime between the 5th and 6th grade, my dad introduced me to Doctor Who. Since we've never had cable, I had no idea there was a series going on right then. But a big part of most of my 7th and 8th grade weekends were sitting down and watching an episode of classic Doctor Who with my dad. Definitely my favorite moment from the entire show's history is right here. The annotation will be there throughout the whole video, so when it's done, be sure to go and watch that. Even though that moment is hilarious, one that I'll always remember is one that's not part of any particular episode, but a mix-up on the part of the TV station that my dad watched growing up. Before every episode of Doctor Who, this guy called Marty Robinson would do an epic voiceover to introduce the episode. The reason I'm talking about this clip is because they can't find it anywhere else than here. And one of these tapes fell apart from mold last year. Mold? How does that even work? When my dad was recording this tape, the episode in question was already a rerun. So the TV station had all the tapes lined up for the next couple of weeks. However, somebody must have put them in the wrong order. You might be thinking, okay, that's kind of weird, but it's not really funny. The funny part is, during the next week's broadcast, the announcer, instead of ignoring the mistake or getting fired, actually blamed the bad guy. Even your announcer was caught unawares, and the third key to time was procured by the doctor before the second. That will be remedied this night in a belated journey to the pirate planet. These days, Doctor Who comes with awesome special effects and a good storyline. Of course, sometimes the storyline in a few of the episodes leaves me scratching my head, but when it's good, it's really good. This memory reminds me of a time when, even though the monsters were bubble wrap painted green, an episode's storyline made up for it, and it was fun to watch anyway. I think that if there are limits in the production of videos or music, you have to work harder to not look completely pathetic. Does this make the final product better? I don't know. What do you think? Leave a comment below. These opinions might just be an effect of me seeing this whole situation through my nostalgia goggles, but I think this is really funny. I don't know if you do, but I hope so. Yay! Bye.